This is Alan with the Growing Network. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and smash that like button. Today we're making a red sauce, which is the base for several Latin dishes. Let's get going. As I mentioned, red sauce is the base for several Latin dishes, salsa, enchiladas, and tamales to name a few. And the main ingredients are these dehydrated California peppers. They come in bags like this and can be found in several grocery stores. The flavors you get from making homemade red sauce are hard to beat. When handling these chili peppers, make sure you always wear gloves. And with great flavor also comes heat. And how we mitigate that is by removing the seeds inside these chili pods. Just rip off the tops. and remove the seeds. Again, just rip off the top of these chili pods. And there we go. We'll finish the rest of these up off camera. We'll see you back soon. The next step in making our red sauce is rehydrating our red chilies. And how we do that is bringing up a large pot of water up to boil, toss the chilies inside, let them rehydrate for about 20 minutes. We'll finish the rest of this up off camera. We'll see you guys back soon. It's been 20 minutes and our first batch is done. The next step is to remove the chili pods from the hot water. I'm using a glass bowl. This helps prevent any potential stains. You don't have to drain all the water completely. It's gonna add flavor when we start making our sauce. I'll finish tossing these back in after I empty this. We'll see you back soon. As our chilies are finishing up rehydrating, let's prepare some garlic. I'm making several batches, so we need a lot of garlic. As you see, you have some garlic cloves. Just take the butt of your knife, give it a good whack, and roughly chop. We'll be using a blender to finish up the rest of these chilies and make it our sauce, so it doesn't have to be too perfect. We'll finish the rest of this off camera. We'll see you back soon. As I mentioned, we're making several batches, and when it comes to making your own red sauce, you get to control the ingredients. Each batch includes the following. 16 chilies, three cups of chicken stock. Don't use the powdered stuff, you know, fresh is best. Three cloves of garlic and some salt. So we're just using a glass container here that helps prevent any potential staining. I like to pour in about a cup of my chicken stock first. And then to that, we'll add, as I mentioned, 16 chilies. If they're little half chilies, again, just make sure they're like two halves, make them full. And then what I add, as I mentioned, about three cloves of garlic. I like garlic in my red sauce. You can add more or less to your taste. Give this a quick pulse. Then we'll add the remaining chicken stock. Depending on how you like the consistency, you can add more or less. I found that with 16 chilies, about three cups is perfect. We'll let the rest of this go for about three minutes on puree. See you back soon. It's been three minutes. Let's check the consistency. All right, that's pretty good actually. If it were too thin, add a few more chilies. And if it was too thick, add more of you know, your chicken stock. Let's check for the flavoring. Definitely needs salt. I'm using chicken stock that's unsalted. Make sure that way you control the flavoring. I'll add a good pinch or two. Give it a quick blend. Now let's check for if it has enough salt. That's actually pretty good. 
We'll let this blend for another minute. We'll see you back soon. Now that we're finished blending, the next step is fairly crucial, and that's to get a strainer. So that way we can strain off any thick particles that didn't get blended and any seeds. All right. What we'll do is let this finish straining. Any sediment that's left in the strainer, we'll toss it back in our blender that adds flavoring and we'll repeat the process until we're done with our chilies. As I mentioned, take the sediment and place it back inside your blender. A lot of good flavor here that we don't want to waste. Then we'll repeat the process. Again, take about a cup of your chicken stock and about 12, I'm sorry, 16 chilies. All right, that was our last batch. That bag made approximately three batches. So we'll finish straining this up. The next step is storage. We'll talk about different options at, when it comes to storing when you're making larger batches in the next. Now that I've finished straining my red sauce, it's time to taste it before we start storing it. Wow, absolutely phenomenal. It's really smooth, perfect consistency. If you need more salt at this point, you could definitely add some more, but let's talk about storage. One of the ways to store it is in mason jars like this. They'll hold for a very long time, but one of the draw sides of this is space. This takes up a lot of space. So typically what I'll do is if I'm gonna use it right away, I'll pour it into these mason jars, store it in the fridge. The other way that I like doing it, and it's my most favorite way, is using a chamber sealer. So let me finish pouring, filling up a couple of these jars, and we'll get to that next. As I mentioned, you can use a chamber sealer. Here we have one from VacMaster. It's the VP321. I've had this for about four years now. Amazing. Not only can you seal regular items, but you can also do liquids. Here we have a pouch. I've folded down the edges. I'm gonna put about 16 ounces in. After you finish placing your sauce inside your bags, Come to the front, release the lock, power it on, unfold the bag, fold it over, and because this has two bars, I'm going to use the other side as well. And there we go. So what's going to happen, it's going to draw a vacuum. Once it's done to reach the time that we set, it'll seal it for about two seconds. That's the time I set and it'll cool for about two and a half seconds. And as you can see, a perfect seal. This is going to allow you to store a lot more you know, packages versus using a mason jar. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys check out my next video, which is gonna be how I make enchiladas. Again, if you like the video, subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave comments below, I like to hear them. Until next time, guys, we'll see you soon.